All right, I'm back. Segment two, Mass Effect talk for the month. So yeah, I'm a good DLC. I enjoyed it, and it was pretty good as far as like combat. However, lacking in story. Um, it was really weird because I'd read the comic before I played this, so I could like get all of like the backstory, and I'd read any of the comics before, so I was like wanted to check it out before I played like the game game part of it that was like like based or not based but like had comic tie-ins since like uh retaliation or was it is that the one where they are or the redemption not retaliation redemption invasion and uh uh, evolution with lucid man there's a fourth one homeworlds well homeworlds isn't there's no dlc that's like relating to it yet so but like I hadn't read any of the comics before I played the, like, whatever part of the game that was, like, supposed to be about, so I'd not ever been like, oh, man, this is just like that part in the comic, and had that experience. It is weird, I gotta say, because, like, all the stuff in the comic, as far as, like, character development and storyline and plot, was, like, so much better than the DLC, because in the DLC you get, like, a, a, a very small sprinkling and it's like, what? Because, I gotta say, it's really weird. It's really cool, but it's really weird. Because, like, I enjoyed the comic more than, like, the Mega DLC. Because there's, like, all these cool, like, small touches. And, like, I guess since this is my first Mass Effect comic I read, I, like, just be able to appreciate it more and be like, oh, man, that's so cool they did that or whatever. Because, like, this is part, you know, Mega, when they're, like, in the comic of uh, <laughs> Invasion. When they're at like uh like Omega uh station control and it's all these voluses like sitting in a circle and like there's all these screens, that's pretty cool. That like the station would be like the brain center would be like all these voluses there. I thought that was hilarious. And then um like the general Oleg, like his characterization, he doesn't get like any screen time. He gets barely any in the DLC. Yeah, in the comic, he's so well-developed. He's, like, this kind of cheesy dude with, like, these... Always, like, quoting, like, old-school Earth, uh, like, authors or, like, tacticians. He'll, like, say something from, like, Oh, well, the Battle of blah, 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 blah. blah. Some dude was all, like, or some lady or some old-school strategist was all blah, 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 blah. And I like repeat that, like, I can't have any like examples. Or I guess like, well, okay, okay, this is a bad example. But like, if any of like the quotes from the hundred were like actual quotes from like the Mopdali when that battle happened, like back in the day. Well, <laughs> okay, back in the day, that's that's an understatement. That was like thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago. So it's like he'd be all like. This is Omega. Go Cerberus attack. Blah 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 blah. He's like always saying like these cheesy one-liner lines before like stuff goes down or after stuff goes down. Yeah, in the DLC, he's barely in it. That's crazy. He's like he's like in the beginning, he's, he's there with the chessboard, and he's all like, "So it begins." Clack and like knocks over the chess piece. I gotta say though, that was a cool touch. The whole like virtual chessboard because that was in the comic and it was in the game so that was pretty cool and then like it's cool like once you finish the DLC you get to like take it to your quarters but you're going to you're going to get to use it and like play it with uh commander or not commander <laughs> with the specialist trainer so yeah that was yeah interesting and then like uh the whole the whole thing with the talons like, they're not even in the comic. That was crazy. It's, like... It's cool, though, because it's basically, like, the DLC is the aftermath of the comic because it's, like, Blue Suns, Blood Pack, Eclipse are just, like, three-way fighting to get control after Arya leaves because everything goes to the crap. And, like, there's chaos and just, like, anarchy and just no order because what you see in the comic is that basically... Arya is the glue holding Omega together, so it's like, without her, there's just a massive power vacuum, and everybody's like, alright, Omega's ours, let's take it, and just fighting in the streets, like, non-stop, just death everywhere, and just, like, 
blood pack eclipse and uh, blue sun are just like warring to like just take control of the station like any means possible just they don't even care about like the losses they suffer it's like we gotta take omega and like be the people can in control it was crazy but then it was cool to see like in the D- like the omega deal see like the aftermath of that was like after the the siphoning off if you will of like the three factions that they basically just uh like all lost out and like the the talons came in and then like it's cool how like omega or not omega <laughs> how Arya was all like a uh, sea shepherd back when you were here in mass effect 2 and you you know killed all those mercenaries when you were helping out archangel and when you were going through the clinic with Morden and clearing all the Vorcha and the Blood Pack out of the events, and you, you know killed a bunch of mercenaries, you, you kind of thinned out the numbers, dude. So there's a lot less of them now, and there's these talons that have m- moved in, and there's this new mercenary group, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. Especially with like their face paint, I thought like that was really cool. How it was all just like like the color scheme, just like thematically fit together. They fit felt like. And then, like, that with, like, the characterization of, like, Nyreen as a very, like, I don't want to say, like, mystical, but she's a pretty cool character. And, like, that fit with, like, their aesthetic. It was, like, a very, like, Far Eastern, like, Asian-influenced, like, group of, like, how how it's said in the DLC, how she was, like, the complete, like, uh, diametric opposite of Arya, even though they were, like, together at some time. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty funny. And interesting. I enjoyed that. Though I gotta say, I was disappointed that you could not keep either of them after the DLC as like a permanent squad mate. Cause like the whole time I was playing Mass Effect 3 and I'm going to Thane's quarters or Samara's quarters or the quarters of like anybody else in the game that had been there that was not there. It's like, or like a Kasumi or Zaid. It's like, the Normandy feels empty. Where are all my, all my other squad mates? <laughs> And it's like, oh, you don't get DLC squad mates, sorry. I was like, ah, that's kind of a little let down. So yeah, but uh, from what I've heard, like there's stuff that changes if you do di- different stuff in the DLC and like it affects the outcome of the DLC, but I've yet to play through Renegade to see like how it's different. So I'm really interested to see to see when I finally do play through, like how it'll be when like you kill all the civilians or like the station is like, there's like a lot of dead people at Omega now, and thanks, Shepard, you, you ruined it for everybody. Oh, I guess also, um, I didn't get like two of the achievements when I played through on 360, so I might do a video of that, because you have to like scan all these things for like the hacker lady, and you have to find Arya's couch. I found this in the, th- the PS3 version when I did my playthrough, because I was like looking over every crevice, whereas in 360 I just wanted to like play through and not stall too long on any section, since it's like a playthrough and I don't want people to be like, okay, this is boring, I'm going to stop watching this video now, huh? So yeah, I kind of sped through it. Uh, speed of speed through, that DLC kind of blew through it, man, like, I, but, but like, to its credit, the reason I did was just because I could not stop playing, and it's like, it's more, more Mass Effect awesomeness and so good, so it's like, once I, <laughs> once I downloaded it, I didn't put the controller down until I finished it, so it's like, you know, just like... <sighs> I can't think of a like good analogy there for like I was gonna say like chugging down some soda when you're like really craving some soda or something something like that when you like hunger or thirst for something and you're like more and then you get it and you're like and it's gone <laughs> yeah that I'm sure that's not the sound you make when you're like consuming whatever it is but that's what my brain made there as a noise from my mouth so yeah, um, wasn't that long, but it was, I gotta say, like, I wanted, oh yeah, oh, yeah sorry, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place, I do that all the time, but yeah, like, I had, I, after I finished the DLC, I went back and watched the, uh, developer interviews, since I did not watch those before, did not spoil any of the DLC, and they said that, like, if you play through at a lower level, that it should be more challenging, because, like, when I played through, I was, like, level 57 or whatever, so almost level 60, or pretty much level 60, since my engineer is basically, like, maxed as far as, like, powers. I'm not going to put any more powers in, but they don't have, like, the max. Or they still have, like, way to go as far as, like, 
like their power bonuses. But then you also get like bonuses thanks to the uh, the glyph station on the Normandy. Uh, but yeah, the combat was very satisfying. Like I like what they did with the uh, the new mechs. Those were pretty cool. The adjutants were cool. It's weird though, because like they were cool, but in the comics they seemed more menacing. Which is why when I got to that part and oh, okay, I'll get to that after this. But like when I got to that part in the Ezo mine or the Element Zero mine, and like I heard them, I was like, oh crap, is that what I think it is? Because like after reading the comic, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to fight one of these things or to like encounter them. And then like you don't even like get to them until like three fourths of the way through the DLC. It's like I heard them, and it's like obviously like it, it's funny too because like you hear them and you go through like that whole section of like darkness and like creepiness and then it doesn't trigger until you push the button which i totally didn't know what happened <laughs> so i didn't but like when i'm playing i'm like going to like super slow and stuff because i'm like totally scared it'll just like jump out and attack me so that's why i did that that section because i was like oh man i'm kind of scared right now but like um yeah the the combat with him was cool and stuff um the whole oh man the set pieces were really good too like when Arya just like biotics into like the crazy force field that could kill her and she's like I'm not going down like that and just pff, that was awesome just like rips it open Shepard jumps through that was that was so good I was like man that was really good just <laughs> and then and then like Narine's all like Arya how'd you know you could do that and she's like I didn't it's like wow that's the other thing about the, like the comic dude like Arya's just like chaotic good to like the max headstrong character that just like runs into runs into situations and just like lets her biotics do the talking and they totally got that like a thousand percent right in the dlc when like <laughs> when you start and you're just like assaulting omega and you're on the ship and it's like shepherd's not in control Arya's in control and you're just like flying by the seat of your pants and she's just like this ran the station. It's like what? <laughs> and then she's like, "Crap, um, get to the escape pods." It's just like, wow, the way the DLC starts. That was just that's so good. They're like it fits so well with like the the whole like characterization of Arya in the comic, as far as like a crazy headstrong. Well, not crazy, but like a, a headstrong, just like get result, like kind of renegade, pretty much, just like get results no matter the consequences. That's pretty cool. Um. But yeah, I was going to say before, when I almost interrupted myself, well, I did, but whatever. So yeah, like, they also had some, like, really cool environments. Like, the Element Zero mine that you go through, that was really cool, like, visually. Because, like, you're looking down, and, like, there's the whole conveyor belt of Element Zero, and there's, like, a mine on one end, and, like, the processing side on the other end that, like, it's all going through. That's pretty cool. And there's, like, a whole, uh, or not a whole, but there's, like, a, co not a codex, but there's, like, a journal on the ground somewhere you can read. It's all, like... Oh, Red Sand's not dangerous, only when it's in, uh, Dust Forum or something. So, yeah. <laughs> if someone was, like, playing and they're like, why aren't they having... or blah, blah, whatever. It, it kind of explains that. Uh, let's see. Like, that... Well, I already talked about, like, the set pieces, but, like, the whole, like, arrangement of the whole part when you have to hack the thingies or turn them off or whatever, that was pretty cool. It's like a circular combat zone and like you have to you and then Irene have to like fight stuff while because like wait what was Ari doing? I don't remember I was doing something so it's basically two against like a whole bunch of uh uh drones or whatever or mechs that they send in I kind of I kind of wish that they would have had like the dragoons from the multiplayer but I'm hoping that since they didn't have them this time they might be in the next one just because those dudes it's like <laughs> I would like to get them back with my shepherd for all the times that they just rushed up on me in multiplayer and just hurt my characters or knocked me out or something. Uh, yeah, I guess there's also some like new weapons or whatever that come with this, but I probably already had them, so I can't like, talk too much about them since I already used them. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing from Omega DLC? Derp -a derp -a derp. I think that basically is besides the multiplayer, like all the metric stuff I've been playing. I enjoyed it though. Like, I, like for its length, I would say, and like the lack of like character and story. If you're not just like 
really itching for a fix in Mass Effect, you can just like hold off for like a price drop or a sale. Because the asking price for the DLC, I'd say, is too steep. And it's just like, it's like, it's over so fast. I was like, wow. I just spent 15 bucks about for that. How do I feel about this? <laughs> I had to like actually think about it a bit. I was like, man. And then like it's crazy because I just bought Mass Effect 1 on PS3, the entire game, for $15. So it's like, yeah, clearly. <laughs> I, uh, well, I'm not going to say I paid too much, but I, I would have paid like whatever because, well, I, I shouldn't have said that, but it's like, yeah, I would have bought it regardless. So it's like, but it's like, as for me, like saying if it's like really worth that $15, I'd say it's probably too expensive. Well, it is too expensive. So it's like, yeah. Um,. So yeah, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. I haven't played too much with this. Sorry, Hunter's Infiltrator, actually. After all my whining about, oh man, I can't wait to get this character, I finally got it, and I played, like, maybe one match. Or two. I didn't play very many. I, I, I think that's what I felt, like, drained after spinning all those credits and unlocking so much stuff and just playing. I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a break. So I had to take a break from multiplayer, and I really played it for a bit. Um... Let's see, I think besides that, just the multiplayer, oh no, oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mass Effect 1 on PS3, I found, I got that Tuesday, this is Wednesday, I'm recording this, so I got that like this morning, it was pretty, it took like an hour to download, so I didn't, I didn't start playing until like 10 o'clock or something crazy, so yeah, it was pretty late when I started playing, but I gotta say, that game, like, Mass Effect 1 has always been my favorite, and just going back and playing it, just, man, it's, to me, it's like my new Mario 64, because, like, to me, Super Mario 64, I can always go back and play that game, because it's my favorite Mario game, and just, it never gets old, same with Super Mario Bros. 3, like, it's timeless classic, just, gameplay is, like, unrivaled, arguably, in, like, the other games in the franchise, going back to play Mass Effect 1, just, it's, like, I really love how, like, in the first game, Bioware did not compromise any of, like, the story or character, and that's, like, very much at the forefront, as opposed to, like, in 2, and more so in 3, where, like, the gameplay was, like, more retooled and, like, more of a focus, or it feels like it's that way, and, like, 1 is all about character story development, dialogue, like, because, like, I, I did a gameplay, or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm doing a gameplay, or ugh, I'm doing a playthrough, and like, for YouTube, and like, I'm gonna like, do all the dialogue with all the NPCs, and I'm also gonna do all the primary, uh, codex entries, but like, the first 30 minutes, I hadn't even like, had any combat, or action sequences with my characters, whereas like, Mass Effect 2 and 3, it's completely different, so. Well, 2, not so much, but kind of, since there is, like, a combat section right after the whole, uh, Operation Lazarus, blah, 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 Project Lazarus intro scene, where it's, like, you wake up on the table, whereas 3 is, like, you just throw into combat from the beginning, so it's, like, yeah. And, like, 1, there's, like, a build-up of, like, okay, Eden Prime, there's a beacon here, what's going on, and, like, there's all this, like, exposition of, like, the specters, the council, Turians, humans, first contact war, that was pretty cool. I guess, like, when I'm, like, reading the codex entries in order <laughs> for the first time, or, like, the first time in a long time, because I haven't played Mass Effect 1 in years, so... Or, like, not... Or I go back and play, but I'm, I play, like, sections, but, like, I haven't gone back and played, like, the whole game, so it's, like, to go back and play, it's, like, man, just... Oh, I love that game so much. Like, the first one will always be my favorite of the three, so... Just, like, go back and play it now. It's, it's like, man, so good. Uh, I... <laughs> And I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's not played it on PS3 for 15 bucks. Totally worth it. Um, yeah, I think that's it as far as gushing all over Mass Effect and its awesomeness. Oh, also, see, Mass Effect 1, I'm doing a playthrough. I already have a playthrough up, though, but this one's going to be basically opposite character. So my first playthrough that I already have on, on YouTube is, like, my shipper that I made of me as a vanguard that's, a, like, Paragon, like, 90% of the time. And in this playthrough, it's going to be the good Renegade. It's like, they do the Renegade dialogue and options, but they don't, like, they don't kill the council or make the Rachni extinct or, uh, 
like kill anybody if they don't have to or if they have the option to I guess rather it's like the option's there they could totally kill them but they're gonna just like renegade out of it and be like haha I'm a badass so yeah that's it for the uh Gishin over Mass Effect for this month I'm sure I'll be talking more about Mass Effect 1 <laughs> which is weird since it's like an old game but I'm playing it again next in the next channel I want to check in and the part three is after this, what I've been playing, or uh, anything else that I didn't talk about that was not Mass Effect related that I forgot to talk about after this.